This is the Pete and Sebastian Show with Pete Corielli and Sebastian Maniscalco. Is there a song or some intro that you do? No, this is okay. Okay, we we, we uh, lucky you're, pop the floor. you are third guest. Okay, who were the ones before? Bill Burr we had yesterday. Incredible. Okay, and Jay Moore. Incredible. Okay. Yeah. So you're our third guest. That's great. Right. Yeah. What a great group of guys. All right. Yeah, yeah. Now, bro, we, we've been doing this podcast for 10 years. We haven't been as successful as you doing two separate podcasts you have, right? Mm. What do you think is the key to a successful podcast? What do you think is the key to a if, successful if, if podcast? This is the way it's going to go. <laughs> That's a Japanese dude we'll, doing Italian. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. We'll throw you out right now. Wait. <laughs> Yeah, all right, all right. Oh. sorry, sorry. Oh. I wasn't mopping. Okay, good. So what, what's that question? Yeah. The que- <laughs> go, go ahead. The Slow question down. is, you got two podcasts, right? Bingo. Tiger Belly, yeah. and you got the one with Santino, right? Is, right? All right. What's the key? Desperation. Now, listen, <laughs> could I just say something, yeah. okay? Uh-huh. You, right, are one, and I, I, I know you don't like compliments. I've known you for a very long time, yes. right? I saw you when you first started. You were terrible. Yes. Okay? Yes. And now look at you. Okay. That's you, okay. flying. Okay. <laughs> and so for me, this this is all I have, right? Podcasting. So okay. I made it so that it's like the way I can make a living. So I put more attention on it. If you had more time, you put attention on it, and this could be the biggest thing on planet Earth, right? Mm-hmm. But here's what you do. You're doing it now. What you're doing is you're calling your friends, Bill Burr, Jay Moore, me, other people that are in that community mm-hmm. right and this is the way you do it i go to new york i do i do andrew schultz's i'll go do de stefano's i'll do whitney's a thousand times theo and all that stuff and what happens is their fans some of them you clip some of them and then they follow you it's a whole thing so it's right, like you know right. we're a family man that's you know, it we're that's a fucking family it, man bro yeah, yeah. The one's always open your, to you. your face is so skinny <laughs> why <laughs> it's so weird really it's really. like What's your skeleton look like? Is <laughs> <laughs> it crushed bones on your face? Yeah. Like, what the fuck kind of face is that? It's crazy. This is cool. Yeah, it's insane. Health, bro. <laughs> it's healthy? You're looking at oh, yeah, health. You look sick, but okay. Well, I know. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't want to be rude, but I've never seen your face so know, but skinny I listen, like that. I'm so excited that you that you think you look healthy. Yeah, I know. That's I look you, like shit. Like, I know I look like shit. Welcome, look, though. Th- this is yeah. non-shit. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I think he looks great, but have you seen yourself in the mirror? It is skinny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. You're a handsome guy, but very skinny. That's how let's oh, move on. I know. So what, yes. I don't know what to do about that. But oh, listen, sorry. I want to ask you something right yeah, before ahead, we started. Oh, God. Go ahead, go right ahead. before we started, okay. we were talking about you said that you were 10% Japanese, and that was that you were upset about it. I'm kind of upset about it. And then a few minutes later, you just did a bit to him. You go, I'm a Japanese guy imitating a da-da-da. Yeah, yeah. So are you proud? I didn't say guy? Japanese guy. You said you did accidentally. Did I say, say Japanese? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, but I was doing an impression of a Japanese guy, oh. but I'm not saying that I'm a Japanese so you make fun of Japanese when you got Japanese. Fuck the Japanese, in? man. What's your problem? <laughs> we're at Pearl Harbor, man. We, we were sleeping. So why does that? It was a sneak you? attack. Why does that bother you? I don't. They don't bother me. But here's. Can I just be honest with yes, you? All right. Yes, so yes. I grew up with Korean parents. Okay. And they grew up during the oppression years where Japanese. You know what I mean? They took over Korea. Uh-huh. And my dad used to, to tell me this bedtime story as a kid that scared the crap out of me. Right, uh-huh. he'd go oh, bedtime story. I'm like, no, no, thanks, Dad. I'm good. Right, uh-huh. bedtime story because they're always dark. Right, uh-huh. so he goes, oh, back in the day, Japanese they come to Korea. Okay, uh-huh. they tie us, you know, by rope with the ankle, hang up upside down. Right, then they take a big boiling pot of water and they dunk Korean in it, and they come out. Oh, you know what I mean? And he would tell these stories right. with the. <laughs> Serious? <laughs> oh, you're burning, burning. You know what I mean? And he would tell these stories, right? And, and, and it just freaked me out. So it's like, you know, I love Japanese people. I love Hello Kitty. You know what I mean? I love, you know what I mean? How does he vroom, vroom. Yeah. to like, now go to bed. Like, I, <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, how do you slide into a deep sleep after that? You can't. That's how why I can't sleep now. How does he close? I need to know to close. Oh, so I they go, oh, I, 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 this is how we close. They go, oh, 15 times. They, oh, you, right? Good night. <laughs> right? And I would say, I say, I say, good night. You know what I mean? And I wouldn't sleep the whole night. I wouldn't sleep the whole night. Let me tell you, instead of your bed, count dunking Koreans. <laughs> one, two, three. 
<laughs> yeah, it's terrible. It's terrible. Uh, but you know, uh, those are the kind of stories I grew yeah. up with. So, dude, my dad never told me. Like, that's like it, when your father said, "I want to tell you a story." Wasn't that weird in and of itself? Like, guy, what are you gonna sit in my no, bed? It, no, <laughs> once, a, you know, yeah. once upon a time, me yeah. right now. Yeah. No, because Did your my dad ever tell you a story. No, my dad never saw my bedroom. <laughs> Well, you, you wait. As a kid, you never had bed Toronto stories. No, no, oh nobody read a book. No, not this. <laughs> really. Did you oh, get shit. Did you get read books uh, as oh, as a kid? My parents don't know how to read. Yeah, no. okay. English. Yeah, so, his parents don't know how to read. Right. I, 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 doubt- I I only read because I wasn't a good reader, so I had to read two times a week with my mom, and she'd have a fucking parliament dangling out of her mouth while I'm reading next to her. But oh, no one oh. read to me. Oh, I read. No, yeah, you read. Yeah, I didn't get any. You, we know what bedtime was in my my yeah. house. Good night. <laughs> yeah. So, no, no stories, no nothing. Yeah. So Come down them stairs for anything, I'm gonna smack the <laughs> shit out of you. Like, yeah. yeah. Well, my brother kept complaining because my brother's it was one of those guys that like his friends did certain things. You know how their families did something. So he'd come home and go, "How come we don't do Easter egg hunt?" Right. And I was go, look, my brother, I don't want to. No, 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 no. You know what I mean? Because you know my dad would half ass it. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like we did an Easter egg thing, and uh, this is it sounds like a joke, but it's not. Right. He hid an egg oh. in our backyard. It was scrambled. <laughs> what? Oh <my> God. <laughs> I don't make that. We had to scoop it. It was pre-scrambled. It was breakfast. Yeah, it wasn't hard boiled. Yeah, it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know how like you guys color your eggs? I know what scrambled egg means, but like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in Easter egg hunt, my dad's style is just he doesn't know what the tradition is, oh my God. right? So he just scrambled it and then he put it underneath the bush. Yeah. And He's we had to right. scoop it up, and we're like, okay, this is insane. You found it! You found it! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, like, he doesn't know, you know what I mean? Like, they don't know what Christmas is, they don't know what Easter is, they don't know what anything is. Where'd you grow up now? I know Sebastian. San Diego. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. And so, where's your father from? Korea. And your mom as well? Korea. Okay, what? so what? so when did they, when they immigrate the here? You you were born here, right? I was bo- yeah. Why? Well, I mean, why are you accusing me of it? No. Yeah, no, my parents. Yeah, I was born here. Okay, my parents met here. Oh, you they met uh, here? Yeah. Okay. At a Korean nightclub. Well, it wasn't a Korean nightclub. It was an American nightclub. They were the only two that didn't speak English, so that's how they hooked up. Wow. Yeah, okay. yeah. And then so, they had me and my brother. So you grew up very immigrant, right? Yeah. Okay. So growing, uh-huh. growing. Afraid to ask a question. No, go, 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 go ask. No, I'm, 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 go open book. Yes. I'm an open book. Well, the same thing with you, but like, so, like, what do you, if like someone puts a gun to your head and says, you have three seconds to answer to you, are you more Korean or more American? Go. Like, 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 uh, I was um, asking him, is he bro, more? Bro, bro, look at me, California? dude. Yeah. Look at me, dude. American, dude. Yeah. Bro, not only that, I feel like you're a, a national treasure. I was saying this last night, I forget what I was talking about, but when I come to LA, like, I feel like. The last time I was at the comedy store with him, I had my wife with me, and we were driving by real slow, backing out with the car, and you waved, and your ass was right level with the car, and you just gave a quick moon it's a hello. and a wave, yeah. and it's like, it almost felt like uh, uh, going on whale watching, and you finally see the whale, it's like, oh, Bobby Lee mo- <laughs> mooned us on the way out. My L.A. trip is complete. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you are so American, but like, do you still like, do, do you go to Korea? Do you feel like I'm a part of this too? Or like, well, ah, no, 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 they parent. don't know who, who I am. Korea. Yeah, when I go to Korea, I'm like, you know, they think that I carry rice. Yeah, yeah. Or like, or I would have, you know, or a koi fish farmer or whatever. They that they don't know what I do. They don't know who I am. I have to wait in line. I have, no one says anything. But like, at least your parents are from there. Like, I'm so far removed from Italy. I joke about, oh, I'm Italian. I'm Italian. When I'm in Italy, they're like, hey, get the fuck out of here. You're nothing like us. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. At least you're closer to authentic Korean yeah, than but, I am to but, freaking but you Italian have, do, in do you any ho- capacity. Do you hold any of the Korean culture as far as like? Korean uh, food and, and beliefs and this and that. Yeah. What do you mean Korean the beliefs? I, I, I don't know. Like, well, the, the dog thing, I don't eat that. Yeah. But, so I said no to that. Okay. You know what I mean? I have four dogs at home. Okay. Right, right. They're not my freezer. They're alive. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I don't do that. No, well, here's what I do. I'll answer it. Do I know. You, you, know, you came in here and you uh, looked at the food like it was like it was foreign. Like, oh, what's this? It's a sandwich. I've just done so many podcasts. I've never had a sandwich as presented presented to me like that's that. That's what this is about. I know, and that, I, I, that's why How I was just. How many times have you been in a podcast room and there's sardines to your right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, no. I know. I know. Yeah. 
And yeah, but to answer your question, Seb, um, can I call you Seb? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, to answer your question is that um, I feel very Korean. Like I go to Korean restaurants three times a week. Um, I hang out at the karaoke, karaoke bars. I go to a Korean spa four times a week. Right, right. So I try to immerse myself in the culture. I don't know the language that well, and the women don't like me, but I do the best I can. You, you wish know? you knew the language? No. See? Like, I got my daughter this summer, she's 10, she's learning Mandarin. Whoa. And on one hand, I feel like that's going to be invaluable. But on the other hand, now there's an app where you could just say what you want and boom. So, yeah. like, so like, would I, if, if I had the app and I had to use that and there's someone right next to me who knew full Korean, what it, like, it, it, it doesn't even, it's not even worth uh, it to learn the language anymore. No, it is. You think so? <laughs> it is. <yeah. laughs> Why? Yeah. If Why? you start speaking Korean right now, oh, it'd be I, unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, I'd love but, it. What, Can what, you do anything? Anything? I could speak Korean. Say yeah. something. Oh, right, will you guys repeat after me? Yeah. yeah. And it's not bad. I don't care if it was. All right. Go ahead. Uh, na. 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 Gochu. Gochu. Jokome. Na gochu mo mokome. No, jokome. Jokome. Na? Na? Gochu? Gochu? Jokome. Jokome. You know what you said? No. My penis is small. Okay. That's that's accurate. Okay, that's accurate. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know stuff like that, yeah. Okay. Uh Gondengi. Repeat after me. Go Gondengi. Gondani. Gondengi. Gondani. Ing, ing, dong, gon. Why aren't you doing this? Yeah, you yeah. Feel like no, I don't want to confuse it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. You have to do it, Pete. All right. right. Gondeni, mashisa, mashisa, mashisa. No, no, no. That, no, that's, that's not that's a thing. No, no. I was sweating. Okay. <laughs> it's ass is delicious. Ass is delicious. Yeah, yeah. Even like, yeah. Yeah, 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 but you don't like, learn Korean. Why yeah, do you this, go right to the gutter, yeah, like, guy? Why don't you? Why don't you know? Hey, yeah. this is a. I love you. This is a beautiful artifact. I love you. Uh, it's not cancer. Oh, 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 yeah. I didn't say it's not cancer uh, in Korean. All right. Okay, um, it's not ca cancer? Yeah. Uh, eat not cancer. Good to know that. That's that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. No, um, you're right. It's like, um, I can go Beyonce Oriso, which means where's the bathroom? Or, uh, Naga, uh, get, um, you know, Pyongshin Ya, which means you're stupid. Like, I know. That's how I like that one, right? No, 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 I'm trying to say, uh, Right. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 it can lead to acne, allergies, and stuffy noses. It's gross, man. Miracle Made offers a whole line of self-cleaning, eco-friendly bedding such as sheets, pillowcases, and comforters that prevent 99% of bacteria and require, are you ready for this, three times less laundry. They use silver-infused fabrics inspired by NASA. Miracle Made sheets are thermoregulating and designed to keep you at the perfect temperature all night long. I got these sheets, I'm telling you. They freaking self-clean and self-temperature regulate. It's unbelievable. Miracle sheets are luxuriously comfortable. I mean, as I wash them, it's like they get softer. And they don't have the high price tag of other luxury brands. So do yourself a favor, man. Stop sleeping on bacteria. You know, just go to Try Miracle. Try it. Go to TryMiracle.com slash the cast and try Miracle Made Sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save 40%. Wow. And if you use the promo, the cast at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. That's 40% off. You use the promo code, the cast at checkout, and you get three free towels and save another extra 20%. Are you kidding me? Miracle is so confident in their product. It's backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you are 100% satisfied, you get a full refund. If I give you a bad stand-up show, I am not giving you your money back. I'll tell you that right now. So Miracle Made is hooking you up. So upgrade your sleep. Go to TryMiracle.com slash the cast and use the code the cast to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's TryMiracle.com slash the cast to treat yourself. Thank you, Miracle Made, for sponsoring this episode. Let me ask you guys a question. Yeah. Because I know you're both married men, yeah. right? Did you guys ever date an Asian person or whatever? No, but when I worked front desk at a hotel, there was an Asian girl that I liked a lot. I and she was dating an Asian guy. Uh, and I was trying to get her to go Italian, but she was like sticking hard in culture. Yeah. And his name was Theo. I'll never forget it. And I was like, 
I know you know we would have a better time, but you're just so stubborn to the Chinese thing. Like, like, let Oh, you said that, yeah. No, no, to myself. <laughs> oh, 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 okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I said that out loud. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you know That's what I'm insane. saying? Like, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, she, she, she was not gonna, but yeah. I was, I was interested. So you were, you were, attra- you were attracted to that. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of yeah, yeah, yeah. How about you? No, I haven't. Well, well, no. Real no, quick, huh? This is, <laughs> Oh, God. I mean, you've never, never God, had, hit us with a fake story. But you never saw an Asian <laughs> woman. Oh, she's attractive. I never okay. worked with an Asian woman. I made that whole thing up, guy. You don't you know, see? It was a, it was a test. Yo, yo, it was a test. No, yes, Theo. There's no uh, Asian uh, named Theo. I never even worked. At, I never even worked at a hotel. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm like Theo. What the fuck? Yeah, that's insane. That was great, dude. Thank you so much for catering to me. Yeah, make uh, something up, bitch. Jesus. Uh, oh God, I'm like Sydney Sheldon over here. I'm unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> that really okay. thank you for making that no, up. But that yeah. really did happen. And, what? And this is terrible that yeah. you don't have no, never had a I, I think Did you even people. see memoirs of a geisha? A geisha. Have you ever been around a geisha? Geisha. Uh, geisha. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> have you, well, uh, like a real one. Yeah, it's like saying, um, have you hung out with a warlock? Like, it's like, they just don't exist anymore, dude. You know what I mean? Like, I've heard of warlocks, but I don't know. They're, they're just not around. You know what I mean? Maybe if you go to, like, Hot Topic, maybe they work there or whatever. But it's like, yeah, it's like geisha. What? No, I've no, never been like, a geisha. You don't think there's, like, an 80-year-old lady that used to be a geisha? There could be, but I'm just not around her. You know I'm what not mean? saying yeah, around yeah, yeah. them. I'm saying maybe you met one. I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've never, I've never even met an Eskimo, have you? No, bro, yeah, yeah. that's a really good thing. Yeah, no, yeah, it's a good thing. I've never met them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but that would be an interesting. It'd be interesting. I've never. I want to have so many uh, questions. You know I, I mean? yes, yeah, cool. insulation or whatever. You know what I mean? I mean, are you really warm in the igloo, or are you just not dying? <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 yeah. It's a fine line. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah so yeah. I'm right there with you with that. There's too. so many people yeah. I haven't met. Like I've never met them. I've never met um what else have I have not met? Um I never had a conversation with an albino. I brought that up. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's interesting. I'm either. Right, right. I've never met a guy with gigantism. No, right? Have you? No. Yeah. No, that was yeah and you could be able to see them from a far away, you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah. Know. Yeah. I've seen oh. a lot of uh, little people, but you know, that, they're cool. What about a Sherpa? <laughs> what about a Sherpa? I've never heard that before. No. I mean, come on, bro. What's the a Sherpa? People, they climb They're asking, well, what's a Sherpa? It's a person that oh. guides you up the mountain, right? The, uh, uh, yeah, they, they, Tibetan, they get you like up Mount Everest. Like guy. If, if, if Sebastian was ever going to climb Mount Everest, he'd have like 10 of them. Yeah. <laughs> 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 one, one of them would just be to carry the fucking charcuterie plate. <laughs> 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 so we get to the top of Mount Everest, we're going to have a nice charcuterie plate <laughs> with some cheeses and olives. And, and then he would plant the Italian flag. Not even the American. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, I want to switch gears. Okay, here, all right. But, all right. And you appreciate this because we talk okay. and, and we talked about this on your podcast. And I want to, I don't want to reiterate what we did, but okay. I think you would appreciate okay. this. So Bobby and I went to the Middle East together to do comedy, right? Oh, wow. And at the time, he liked video games, and that was a really into him but he's like ah, i'm gonna go buy an xbox we're gonna play fifa soccer da, 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 da. and at the end of the trip he left the the xbox in the room which i thought was was fascinating wow. right wow. he didn't even take it back right that's well so we were talking the other day and i said like what else do you leave in the room and can you explain talk about a tip because we talk about tipping on the show mm. tell me Tell me what you tipped the housekeeper, not the Xbox, but you know what I'm talking about? Well, I've been, you know, I've been on the road for many, many years, yes. right? And I, I've done this probably 30 to 40 times. Okay. Where sometimes when you buy, a, excuse, back in the day, early on when I went on the road, right, there was no streaming, right? And with pornography, right, there was no sites. I just didn't know how to do it. Mm. So what I would do is I would go to Best Buy or something and buy a DVD player, but I would also buy a flat screen TV. I would buy other things like an Xbox and this, and I would play all weekend. For the, in, in, the, in the hotel room? In the hotel room. <laughs> because the hotel TV, they have locks on the H, the, the um, HD yeah. cord and all yeah. that stuff because they want you to watch their entertainment. Uh-huh. So you'd have to buy your own TV. So at the end of the week, I would take a post-it note and go, hey, hello, hola, senorita, or whatever, you know what I mean? Here's your flat screen TV, Xbox, and DVD player. It's a gift from me. That's your tip. 
This guy would leave a TV <laughs> my God. behind, yeah. right? Now, my question. I have go so ahead. many questions. Go ahead. Go, ahead. go ahead. Bro, I've been doing stand-up for as many years as you, and I can't take it when I got to leave the hotel to get a cup of coffee. How the fuck are you carrying back a flat screen <laughs> and a VCR? <laughs> like, you get, if you're playing a place on Thursday through Sunday. Yeah. So you're getting in Thursday, you're doing the show, you're waking up Friday morning, going to Best Buy. I'm like, when is this happening? So back in the day, uh -huh. as you know, right. on Friday morning, yeah. you'd have to do press, yes. right? Yes. So you do four or five radio stations. They pick up at five in the morning, right? right? Yeah. At the end, when you're having breakfast, you tell whoever's driving you, can we stop by Best Buy? Right. And they oh, go, oh, my. okay, right? So you're right. with a guy that works at the club. Yeah. He takes you to Best Buy. You carry the stuff out. You make him carry something. You bring it up. You make him carry it up there. And then right. you just leave it. I mean, it's not that... But, like, I guess, see, I was more of a drinker, and I know you probably used to drink. But... I've, see, here's the thing. I've always been in AA. Oh, see, okay. I've always been in recovery. I'd be, like, doing heroin and stuff, you know what I mean, if I wasn't sober. Oh, but, all right, because like, I'd I'm be, like, that Friday morning. I'm hungover. The last thing I want to do is keep doing radio. Yeah. And the last thing I want to do is go to Best Buy. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. And I ain't going to watch nothing because I'm going out that night again. And so it's interesting, right? Yeah, wow, what a tip to leave behind. Now, my question is, do you think the maid automatically gets that? Or is some GM that goes, no, 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 I left a note for you, but it's no for the hotel. This, this is what I want to get into. Mm. You leave. You're on your plane. Maid comes into the room. Yeah. Takes the poster or something. Hold on. This is your TV. Now, this is the maid. <laughs> Take the TV down the hallway yeah, yeah. and go put it in her car? Or does she have to call, like, a housekeeping manager and go, this guy left me a TV, and then the housekeeper, no, no, that's, that's ours. Okay. And, oh. you know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't know how the hell do you right, walk out of a right. walk out of a hotel. Yeah, I, the, with these a are TV things you don't set. think about. Right? Why would I, I care? Well, I tell you, I really. I Why really, would I even think about like what it's going to happen afterwards? But, but, That's what but, we do on this cast, Bobby. I, That's I, what I, we do. I, we dissect. Yeah, I know, no, but we're trying to find out if your TV even made it to the senorita <laughs> that you meant it for. Yeah, yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's, I'm thinking. I really did work at a hotel. Like I told you, I'm yeah. thinking the maid in that situation calls her family and goes, yeah, to the husband. Come down here with the fucking car. Meet me in the back. No, 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 no. <laughs> you can't take a TV out of a hotel because other people go, what are they, stealing TVs? Well, not if you catch me. I'm like, it's not really stealing. I'm taking my tip home. Yeah, but they don't know that. Well, now they do, but I'm trying to keep it discreet. <laughs> uh, you go to the general manager. He's going to like, well, we have to go through human resources and see if you really deserve the fucking TV. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> the note says to me, <laughs> I should have called my husband and come pick it up. Here's the move. All right. Okay. And this is what... I'm a little disappointed in, in your behavior. Your generosity is off the Why? charts. Why? The generosity is phenomenal. Okay. But, you know, have you ever done it where you actually gave it, like, to the housekeeper, like not left it behind. For me, I would like, I would like to on the way out. Maid's coming in. Thank you for your stay. By the way, TV's yours. And she goes, Man, I like that. What? what? Right. Like, have you ever, have you ever had that? No. Mm -hmm. <sighs> because it's one of those things think about it right what you're saying okay you know what they say you have to when you give a gift to somebody like you, you know you don't brag about it afterwards like you know what like you know like one time I'm, and I'm always saying that I'm not bragging right. but one time I saw a homeless man mm -hmm. and he went into 7-eleven he had a shopping cart and on top of the shopping cart part uh, cart he had like a book it was like a thick white book it, it, it might have been a photo album mm -hmm. and I took a hundred dollars and I slipped it in there mm -hmm. I closed the book and I just drove away oh, I never God. told the guy I put a hundred dollars in there oh, yeah. right God, and you give like... little people gifts like that so that's what it is it's like a secret gift Are you all right what's wrong that's like littering. Well, you, get, you, get, you get nothing out of that, bro. You get nothing out of that. Yeah, you do. He might, he might have fucking like decided. What am I doing? Sh shoveling this car of shit. He might have left a fucking car that, like. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what you think about, bro. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, I, under, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand not wanting the pat on the back. I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you gotta make sure the gift gets to the to the recipient. Yeah. Also, wait out there. Hey, I left a hundred. No, 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 no. You don't do that. No, this no. guy barely even knows he's indoors. And you're, like, and you're, <laughs> but imagine though. Imagine right. Him, he's gonna go. He's having a bad day. No, Pete, uh, Pete, he's having a bad day, right? <laughs> he's like, oh man, I'm so hungry. Yeah. Let me look at my photo album. Yeah. He opens it up and he sees a hundred in there. Right. He's gonna go. 
Hey, was that from the Korean Asian American guy with the fish hat that fucking was not matter. like there's not the, don't you matter. don't even care It's not about that. No, no. It's about me oh being a good my person. God, bro, you're Robin Hood without the fucking arrows. <laughs> Oh my this god! This piece of crap, man! I, I, I do something me. nice, you turn it against me? No, God! When I tip in a jug anywhere, yeah. I'm like, hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, you fucking guy! It's so good. It's so good. Yeah, that yeah, yeah, is yeah. so nice yeah, of you, yeah. man. That's a generosity. Like, but anyway, that's back to the TV. It's yeah. like I don't want to be like I'm the guy that's got you. You know what I mean? No, right. yeah, yeah. I, but don't you think like when she brings in some towels, you should be playing? I am it at all. I look over and go, all this, yours on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. But since now you can you know, download entertainment quickly. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't been doing that as much, and also I just I don't do clubs really. So ah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, yeah, you, you know, do one night, you know, <laughs> you know, uh, eating, you know. Yeah, you pretty, I'm pretty soon you can't even do airplane jokes if you already still can. I don't know where you're at with that, bro. Do, right? do we have a towel? Uh, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, that's so nice of you. I mean, this I'm guy, I'm not doing nothing. He keeps wiping his face, and I'm going, so anyway, what was it like playing? <laughs> He's French. Football is finally back, baby, and it's in full swing with another week of epic games. And who's got you covered on the action for every single one of them? DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. New customers can bet $5 on football and get $200 instantly in bonus bets. Wow. Nobody's missing out on the action this season. All DraftKings customers can take advantage of two new offers every game day this September. Get in on the NFL Week 2 action with DraftKings Sportbook. Download the app now and use the code THECAST to sign up. New customers can be just $5 New customers can bet just $5 and take home 200 instantly in bonus bets only on DraftKings Sportsbook with the code DECAST. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.sot1800gambler.net. In New York, call 877-HOPENY or text H-O-P-E-N-Y. That's 467-369. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino Resorts, KS, 21 plus age varies by jurisdiction. Void in Ontario, I guess. O-N-T. See sportsbook.draftkings.com slash football terms for eligibility. Terms are responsible. Gaming resources. Bonus bets expire seven days after issuance. Eligibility and deposit restrictions apply. But, and, and, and I know I know you're not really a... Um... When I talk to you, it's always in like uh, humor speak, right? We never oh, like. Come to... on, man. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, it's always yeah, yeah. like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, that's me. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. Taking it. I want to get. I want to get into your head in regards to podcasting and stand up. All right. What do you enjoy more? Do you enjoy doing stand up at a fifteen minute set at the comedy store, or would you rather sit there and talk to? It's you? a choice between the two. If I had a choice, yeah. That's really hard. Um, I think at this point in my life, probably podcasting. Why? Because it's easy. It's it's so easy. It's like it's so I do maybe an hour and a half with both, you know, give and take doing ads and all that stuff. So you're talking about th three or four hours a week. Yeah. You know what I mean, and you know, right now, it's good. I mean, I think podcasting is you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. It might have hit a ceiling, but I'm st it's still up there, and I'm making a really good living doing it. So at this point, I would probably choose that. But I want to do it all. Okay. And I think that was my problem my whole life is, is I looked at everything, and I go, I want to do animation. I want to do a panel show. I want to do acting. I want to do all these things. And, I, and I've been able to do that my whole life, and it's been incredible. But I don't know. I, I would probably have to choose podcasting. Though. Okay, so I think podcasting for you has changed your whole perspective on the entertainment business because I remember us having conversations in the hallway at the comedy store. You'd be like, "Ah, oh, I went into this audition. I didn't get it. I, I oh, the so and so got it, and I, you know, wish." Now I feel like with podcasting, you're almost in control of your own destiny, right? And you could have who you want on the show. But my next question is. When you do podcasting and you have a guest, are there times where you're like, uh, this person ain't giving me what I need. How do we get out of this? What I've had two. I can't say their names. Yeah. They're famous. Okay. But there was two that I recall that was like pulling teeth. 
Okay. Did, and I did, just remember did, going, oh my God, what else do I do? I, I don't know what else to do. Did you think prior to going in, this was going to be pulling teeth? No. 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 And then later I would call other guys and they go, oh yeah, they're like pulling teeth. You know what I mean? That's why they've asked them one time to do it or whatever. But it's like, you know, and, and it, but it's, you know, it's an exercise of, you know, you just learn how to do it really. And then if they're not giving you anything, then you're going to have to like in improv, mm -hmm. what is one of the rules? You always add information, you just keep talking. Mm -hmm. Right. And if they don't want to engage, then, you know, we can cut around it or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I've had two that were nightmares where I was just like, like my eyes were darting and going, what the fuck? This is, oh, we can't air this. Yeah. It's fucking terrible. I mean, have you? We just started. Hey, yeah, but what so far? How's this going? This, How's it going? Is your eyes darting? No, there's no eyes darting. Well, no, I mean, we, I've had that though, doing it with him over 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But, you know, to, to add on to what he's saying, though, first of all, I think I, I get it why you do the casting thing. It's, it's, and I was telling my wife this recently. I go, man, it's almost like the, literally the new stand up because you're doing stand up. You're doing stand up. You're doing it every night without leaving you home and you're reaching more people. But, uh, going on last night, the comedy store after you, I also saw, and I saw it the last time I saw you there. That's like your living room. You love that. So if you could have this balance where if someone said you can only do stand up at the store it's and the cast, that's fine because you're still doing stand up and you're still getting that live experience. It's uh, getting on the plane and going to someplace so far and you're halfway there going, oh, why am I doing this? I could just stay in my living room. And I bet with acting, which I don't really do at all, but it's so much different when you're going in on an audition and you know, this just from success when you, when you really come from a place where I don't need this. Mm. Now I can bring everything to this audition. I really have to offer because I really don't fucking need this. Yeah, yeah. Whereas, I think what's helped me is this yeah. is it's, um, before when I was complaining back in the day, I would be in really good auditions, like really big movies and whatever, yeah. but I'm sixth on the list. So five people would have to like not do it. And I could just uh, name you like Ken Jeong, guys like Ronnie Chang, all these guys. That's such a great movie if they go, if six guys pass, it's yours. And that weekend, you and five friends have to go fuck up five other dudes. <laughs> All right, pump them down. That's a good movie idea. That's a great movie idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. But now what what I found is is that I'm in the top two, right? And also like Sex in the City, Reservation Dogs, Magnum PI, these things that I did in the last couple of years, and even the sitcom I just did a couple of years ago with Oliver Hudson, they were all offers. You know what I mean? So now it's like I, you know, I I still read. Like I read for this. No audition. Nice. Now, now. When the, when you're not auditioning and you're just getting off a part, yeah. there has to be a different fear of I'm disappointed it ain't gonna be on day one. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. This is gonna be way more of a disappointment than not, it's not that it's, it was. It's no you're good. It's oh, so I'm gonna tell you fear. So I, I did this movie called it's coming out soon, but this movie called Borderlands. It was Kate Blanchett, Jamie Lee Curtis, all these people are in it, right? Amazing. And I was bro. in Hungary. Awesome. What's the name Budapest, of the movie? It's called Borderlands. And I was in Budapest for two months. Holy and shit. This is during, this is during COVID, right? So oh, well, they, they were like, you have to only hang out with them. Uh -huh. So like every night I'm eating dinner with Keep Blanchett and like, they're like, oh my God, who is this guy? Anyway, I guess we have to, right? <laughs> so, you know what I mean? I mean? They look at me like, what are you, you know, what are you doing here? You know what I mean? And I'm like, I'm here, you know? Um, That's was, a movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> who else was in it? It was Kevin Hart. Um, uh, these kind of people are in the movie, right? So, so you, do you gravitate to the comedian? The, 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 the Kevin Hart and you, like. Now, you know who I really clicked with is Jamie Lee Curtis. Hmm. She, um, this is the ama most amazing thing because when I was flying to Budapest, my agents called me and go, listen, the next two months, just, you're going to be hanging out by yourself. Like, I, I, we don't know if anyone's going to want to hang out with you. So just good luck, read a book or whatever. Right. <laughs> so in my head, I'm like, you know what, dude? I'm just going to be a nice guy. I'll show up. So I went into my hotel room and on my bed was a letter. And it was a letter from Jamie Lee Curtis. She oh. goes, hello, Bobby. You know, I, I know we don't know each other, but I'm here too. And tomorrow no morning, I'm having lunch at 1230 at this restaurant. Please join me. Right. And I do. I couldn't sleep that night. Oh, my God. Because I'm like, I'm like, I have like goosebumps right now. Right? I'm like, holy fuck. I meet her. She's the kindest person ever. Unbelievable. But then I messed it up an hour later. I know what you asked. N no. What, okay. <laughs> can, you, can I tell you what I did? Uh -huh. I made the biggest mistake of my life. Why? So she goes, 
And there was other actors there too. There was Penn from Penn and Teller. He's in the movie. Is and, that the one who talks that doesn't talk? The one that talks. Yeah. And Cheyenne Jackson, who's like this like Broadway star. And so Jamie goes, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so Jamie goes, I got to take you guys somewhere. So we walk by a river in Budapest. Huh. And along, along this river are these bronze shoes. They're just stuck on the side of this river. And there's like 40 of them. And she's emotional. And she goes, this is in the during the 1940s. Nazi Germany came in here and they slaughtered all these people and they threw them into the river, right? And now we have these bronze shoes, right? You know, pay, pay honor to these yeah. victims, right? Yeah. And in my mind, I'm like, okay, there's a joke coming. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no right, my instinct, you're being, we're so wrong, right? Sure. And then Cheyenne Jackson looks at these little shoes, these baby shoes, and he goes, um, because he has kids and he was like, oh my God, he gets emotional. He goes, um, a little boy died here. And I say, it could have been a midget. They all turn around and they walk away from me. And now I'm st sta oh, staring there at the shoes going, why the fuck did I say that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Yeah? No, I, what? I just... <laughs> yeah, but, I know. My instinct's wrong. Yeah, the, wrong that, instinct? Not only instinct. But, <laughs> not even funny. But the funny... It, it, <laughs> Because yeah. technically midgets still have a ten and a half foot shoe, you know? They don't like I don't think they have a small foot. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, no listen. I, I can't believe I know, I know. What? I fucked up. Right. <laughs> yeah, okay. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. I, I know, but, but Okay, I, I don't want to let's move on. Okay. Okay, we'll, let's move on. All right, move on. Okay, so everybody walks away from you. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you're sitting there looking at shoes. <laughs> What's the next move? I think Jamie Lee Curtis went back to a room and wrote him another letter. <laughs> That's what I, I'll tell you that. Don't ever come to lunch Dear again. Bobby, I wasn't expecting you know, I, I that. Know, I cat. shook my head. I shook my head, looked, and I go, I said to myself, wow, that was embarrassing. Because I think that if you know I was there with Bill Burr or whatever, it would have got maybe a chuckle. I don't know. Right. Probably not. But um, I said to myself, all right, now you're going to do sitcom Bobby Lee. So whenever I'm on a sitcom, I have to remind myself, edit everything, don't say the wrong thing. I, I'll I'll say I'll think to myself five different. I'll give myself five seconds before right. I respond to things. So from then on, I was just very mindful about everything I said. Right. So I fucked up. Okay. So when you reinsert yourself back into the situation with the group, yeah, they don't they ignore it. They don't say anything. There's no residual like uh, this is the guy that said the midget comment. Or the <laughs> Or do they like? Oh, hey, Bobby. How's it? No, you no, I don't. I think a couple of days I was alone. Okay, right, and then I met. Um, they called me on set, and because Eli Roth, the director, wanted to meet me, and I had never met him. Right, and in my mind, I was a because so now this is back to your the pressure of it put more pressure on my performance. Yeah. So the day, the first day. Oh, so you said this midget comment before you even acted. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh my God. They don't even know if you're talking. They, 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 they don't even know I can act. They, they don't, don't even know I can act. Man. You haven't proved it. I don't know. I fucked it up. Oh I fucked it up. I fucked it up. You don't even know, You're not talented enough to I'm be. Not. I don't know. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Yeah, you haven't proved it yet. Oh, shit. You have to get some water. Jesus Christ. Not only that. Not only that. You're right. You're right. They're probably rooting for you to suck. There's the midget the, guy. There's a midget guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was there for the foot comedy. <laughs> right, right, yeah, right, yeah. Right, yeah. Right, there's right, the midget guy. Yeah, there's a midget guy. Right. That's the guy who's in there. When we went to see the shoes, that's the that's asshole. That's the guy. That's the midget thing. It's all over now. Uh, Everyone's talking about oh it, right? Oh, my God. You need, you need to be Brando right now, guy. <laughs> I know. Oh, my God. But I, here's what helped. All right. The first thing I did was just a dialogue scene with me and Kevin Hart. Mm. And I know him, right? So in my mind, I'm like, I know him. So it made it more relaxing. He's such a nice guy. You've met yeah, him. Yeah. He's such a nice guy. And so once we did the rehearsal, in my mind, I'm like, yeah, I got this. But I didn't sleep for two days before that. I mean, it was like sleepless nights. And then I was there for two months, and they invited me to escape rooms, and I went to a synagogue with everybody. And so I incorporated myself back into the But here's the, the, here's, here's yeah. the, the question you have to ask yourself when you're laying in bed at night. As, as much as you say you nailed it and Kevin Hart's a nice guy, after you did the scene, you have to ask yourself, do you think you would have got it if you had to audition? 
Like if they would have saw that ahead of time, do you think they'd say, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll fly in the Budapest? Or do you think they would say, hmm. <laughs> maybe we can get some more local. No, do, do you ever, maybe we get a local. No, I, <laughs> no, I, 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 I know what you're trying to do. I'm having some fun. No, I, I, I know you. I, I know what you're trying to do. What am I trying to do? I, I know you're trying to do what you're, and I like it. Well, I, I like, like what you're doing. What you know am I mean? doing? Um, I don't know. It, I think here's the deal, oh. right? I think I did maybe put myself on tape. I don't remember for that one. I think I might have, right? But I remember them saying, um, "Yeah, it wasn't right, but we'll work on it when we're there." I think they wanted me in the movie because mm-hmm. I then when when um, Eli was doing touch ups, you know, you see, you know, people, you know, when you're right. visible, sometimes you have fans and people. Oh, 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 you think I'm saying that? I'm not saying no, that. No, I know. I'm sorry. I hear you. I, know, I know, Pete, That's how anyone. You know what? I fucked up by calling you your face skinny. It is skinny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I opened Bro. wrong with that, so I think I think that. I'm when not, I look at it now, it's normal size. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After the show, yeah. I'm going to look in the mirror because I've been thinking about it since you said it. <laughs> and today, if you go home and do a monologue in yeah, front yeah. of your mirror yeah, just yeah, to yeah. see if you really yeah. got the talent, yeah. <laughs> that's, I, would, I understand. <laughs> I mean, you, you've, have you read since The um, the Irishman? Have you read for, read for it? You know, right? You're just doing your own thing. No, but it's not like I, I have had a lot of opportunities to even want to go on movies. So I haven't read. I haven't. Gone on an audition, but if like so for like for instance, if uh, Marvel called, yeah. right, and we're looking for the next, you know, what I mean, superhero yeah. guy, would you read for that? Right, you would read for I that. Read for it, but yeah, I, yeah. I wouldn't get it. That's negative. I won't get it because I'm not good in the audition process. I don't think so, man. I think it's in your head. Because let me say something for you to sit there with Scorsese and all those guys. I mean, that's Sebastian. Sebastian, that's the highest level of pressure. That is known in show business, in my opinion. I mean, right. but also, and it, it is. is. No, I, mean, I can't. But you had lunch with Kate Blanchett. You're obviously acting with her too. She's the same level. I mean, you guys are acting with the best of the best. You obviously both know what you're doing on a high level. Because I'll, I'll tell you why, Pete. Can I tell you why? Yeah. Many many years ago, I did a movie and I had a scene with Ben Kingsley. Damn. Okay. You were in Gandhi. <laughs> 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 yeah, I was this guy. I was holding his body when he was intermittent. <laughs> anyway, um, so, um, and I remember I was nervous for that too. Uh-huh. It was for the dictator, the movie, the dictator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. And I remember with the first take, Ben Kinsley goes, "Line," like he didn't know, right? Yeah. And he messed up a couple of times. And in my head, I'm like, "Oh, you don't have to be perfect." You know what I mean? And we were all human beings, you know what I mean? And they're going to get it, so relax. For us to put that much pressure on ourselves, like, yeah. we have to kill it. No, that's not how it works. That's you can like, make mistakes. You can, it's a, it's a, it's a process. It but it's also a process of level of fame. Like, the funny bit for you is to say the whole story. I just Ben Kingsley, and he said line, and that's when I realized it's a process. Yeah. And then we did another take, and I forgot my line. So I said line, and then they said, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> Right, right. Wait, don't put that fear in my head. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, now yeah, you can That could happen. Now, now it wouldn't happen now. You're yeah, a yeah, star, yeah. bro. You're a star. Yeah, I don't know. Great. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. No, you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, bro, it's like, you know, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's just people working on a creative project. Yeah. And um, I know there's a lot of money involved. I know there's like egos and this and that. But you can't control in life itself. You know, yeah. there's no control. You can't control any of it. So I just wake up and I go forward. I do the best I can. And that's it. You seem like you're having a really fun, awesome life, man. Fun. All right, everybody, with HelloFresh, you know the deal. You're getting farm fresh, pre portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and most importantly, affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Kickstart a fresh fall routine with HelloFresh. HelloFresh handles all the meal planning and shopping to deliver everything you need to cook up a tasty meal right at home. They do the hard part, and you get to take the credit. When it comes to options, honestly, more is more. And that's why HelloFresh's menu includes 40 recipes and over 100 add-on items to choose from every week. When you get HelloFresh, you know you're getting top-notch produce since it travels from the farm to your door in less than seven days. I'm telling you, man, I use HelloFresh, and not only is the food fresh and not overly priced, but... It is just easy to cook, and it saves a lot of time. And that's what we do when school starts kicking in, and we go to HelloFresh, and it's a major time saver. 
and it's delicious. And now also Green Chef and every plate are now owned by HelloFresh. And with a wide variety, an array of meals to plans to choose from, there's something for everyone. I love switching between the brands. And now you guys can enjoy both brands at a discount. Go to HelloFresh.com slash the number 50 the cast and use the code again the number 50 the cast for 50% off plus 15% off the next two months. That's HelloFresh.com slash the numbers 50 the cast and use the code again the number 50 and then the words the cast for 50% off plus 15% off for the next two months. Do it, baby. <laughs> But would you do this? Would you do this with Jamie Lee Curtis and Kent Kate Blanchett That's the problem, at, yes. at a lunch? No, no, I wouldn't. No, I sit at lunch. Did you go? Excuse me, I gotta. I gotta <laughs> no, no, no. Such a good point. Such a good point. But, but, but Sam, right? yeah, I've known you for twenty years. I know, but we yeah, we it's, met like five minutes ago, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, like I think, and I just got to whiff of the the gas. <laughs> oh, shit. I, yeah, right. I think if you smell, like we talked about this, if you smell somebody else's gas, right, you, you have a different outlook yeah. on them. We talked about this. I thought Patrick took a shit in my bathroom at home, and I walked in, and my whole perception of him changed, <laughs> oh. right? Yeah, right? Yeah, so, right. But he, right, yeah. he didn't do it. I think, I think it was a housekeeper. Yeah. But the fact that we now we know what your insides smell like yeah it's right. a totally different vibe yeah no. really are we is. closer or no? no i feel like we're closer no it's like this should end soon <laughs> <laughs> i'll hold it okay now, Sorry. You, 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 from what i understand about you if i'm not mistaken yeah, are you currently single unfortunately yes not unfortunately you're having a fantastically fun life and you know you are and you try to pretend it's not it's fucking borderline magnum pi guy yeah. that's how fun your life is you know now, it's funny now when I, I still got it are you of course you do i still got now, it. now when a woman comes into your life like like it's so easy for her to you know minus the forty and shit <laughs> but to want to stick around right like do you find it it's got to be a really fascinating like i've been with the same woman since the start of comedy yeah my point is it's got to be really neat in a weird way, when you meet a woman now to discern the difference between is this more for what I'm doing now? Who like it's, but who you are, what you're doing is who you are. So it all gets kind of intermingled. But like, you know, when you were a woman that you're like, when I was 20 years ago, I don't think this woman would have been into me. Should I be angry that she's only into me now because of my success or? That's all life. Like, what the? I don't know how to. All right. So I get what you're saying. Basically, yeah, what a... you're saying is that I'm getting girls because of my fame. <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not saying. Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, no. And I, I'm going to say yes. But I'm going to say yes. But I'm going to. Let me explain. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is when you know, Matt Rife, for instance, killing it, Matt Rife. Okay, right. that's the comedian. I yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's a handsome guy, right? Yeah. He has that asset to get girls. It has nothing to do with who he is as a person, right? <laughs> he, that's how he attracts women. I mean, he he didn't have to do stand up to get yeah, like dates, right? Jeselnik, sometimes I'm watching Anthony, him do stand up. I'm like, I, I, while he's doing stand up, I'm thinking, if I was a chick, I'd totally make out with this. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, some guys have handsome, some guys has personality, some guys have this and that, right? And I'm just accessing. It's not just fame. I'm accessing like I'm confident, right? I you see this shell that I have. Right. Like, if you were in my show, I don't know. It'd be tough. Yeah, but bro, if you were a social studies teacher and the same personality, you're a funny guy. You're a lovable guy. Yeah. So I'm just saying, like, like it's a, it's like, it's not about your appearance or anything. Yeah. It's about, like, I could, I could see a woman loving you. Like, you're a funny guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she looks at you and goes, uh, if I'm all gone tomorrow, but I'm still me, I'm still funny, Bobby. Yeah. Are we still tight? And like, do you have to try and see that in a woman when you meet her? Like, see, kind of decide that on your own? My hook to them is what I do, see my stand up, you know what I mean? Look at all this stuff. But for, th for them to stay with me, they have to love who I am because you, as you know, just as a friend, you right. know how difficult I could be. I mean, just in terms of like what I'm like socially, you know what I mean? My hygiene, my sleeping habits, all that stuff. And Kalila, for instance, the 10 year relationship I had, yeah. right? She really was like, you know what? I mean, I don't know what she saw in me, but she stood in there with the farts. I would trap the farts in the blanket, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? She'd have to smell it, you know what I mean? And stuff like that. You know, I pooed in my car once and she had to clean it. So like those things, she stays because she loves me. Right. Listen. Uh, all right. True. Okay. But 
And I was there last night. Am I, I, am I, I, are we talking about two different things? No, we're not. I don't feel like, okay. We're not, but it's really hard to discern because, like, I'm one of them too. I'm a comedian, but, like, I'm there last night and you pull in with your cars and you go up there. You were on before me, 400 people. They're all fucking laughing at everything you say. You get up, you say goodnight, you slide out. Gonna stay up late because you got no job in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I'd fuck you. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then, then you go up and you, yeah, and you close it yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, we go to get back in his car yeah. and it's turned around. Yeah. And I'm like, did somebody turn your car around? <laughs> and he goes, right. yeah, we drive yeah, out. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I can imagine being the girl sitting in the car. Oh my God, I'm going home with Bobby Lee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then two days later, you go, I'm quitting it all, baby. I'm going to teach social studies in Milwaukee. I'm gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Man, yeah. you're like one of the coolest motherfuckers in L.A., bro. But can God I say it? Damn, but I you're cool in Nirvana. <laughs> Let me, when I used to watch you guys, in my head, I'm like, oh, look at this exclusive bullshit. Oh. They're like, they're insulated. They're on the top, drinking wine, cheese. God, we never drink wine. On the ever. top of the mountaintop. And look, we're all, top we're, all we're all the bottom, you know what I mean? Trying to get to you. Oh, you know what I mean? That's God. God. I was doing Bro. this from a, a fucking Norwegian cruise. We're, we're, we're making. <laughs> When it, when it was docked in Miami, guy. When it was docked in Miami. <laughs> you did cruises? Yeah. For like yeah, three, yeah. a month or two. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, I only did it for... <laughs> That's what I did. Well, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm not going to... I'm going to pull it, it, out it, my it, resume it, right it, now. It, 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 I don't got a letter from Jamie Lee Curry. <laughs> <laughs> but I did some shit. All right. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Norwegian is one of them. What I'm saying is, yeah. sometimes in the business, there's a click, right? Yeah. I feel, especially you, you're out in Fredonia, you're not even involved in the... Well, I didn't... Listen, I'm a comedy seller guy for 20 years, mm. which is like parallel to the comedy seller. I was just there. It was a tough room. How does it... Well, see, now to me, it's not. Yours is. No, because he, she puts me up at one in the morning, and I have to follow Yamanika. Like a beast, yeah, like yeah, someone yeah. that's just gonna crush the room. I always get nervous, but I love that club. But it's so fun. Like if you lived there, I know we'll get right back. I'm sorry, to cut yeah. you off. But if you lived in New York, yeah, you would feel the same way walking those clubs the way you feel at the store. And like when I go to store with him and he's walking me through the back kitchen, it's like ah, I wish I still played the cell. I played it 20 years every night. It's the same thing, and they're like so parallel. Their their histories and everything. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And. You know, like a comic can go on at a club in the middle of the country and in front of 400 people and be less nervous than going on at the cellar and like on a Tuesday night, you know, yeah, oh yeah, like, yeah. who's in here? Who's watching yeah, me? Yeah, Bobby yeah, yeah, Lee's yeah, in the corner yeah, at the store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's the same thing. Yeah, like yeah, I was yeah. weirded out coming to do here. I'm like, oh, what if Bobby's sitting there? He's never seen me before. He knows I do the cast with Sebastian. He's going to do a peeking, <laughs> catch me for a minute. I'm doing something unfunny and go, guys suck. <laughs> That's, that's how we operate. Wow, well, yeah, that's yeah. how we yeah, operate. Yeah, yeah. Even insane. though we don't, we don't admit that yeah, we insane. do, we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so it's incredible. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I. And getting back to the the click of it all, yeah. I feel like there's some clicks in comedy that I just haven't clicked into, just because I don't know. I, I I've always been kind of on the fringe of what was popular at the. Even in high school, college, what have you. This has nothing to do with comedy. It's always been kind of like, uh, I'm just operating in my own little hemisphere here. Yeah, it's interesting because it's like, it's, it's just perception. It's, you know, I think that just, that's the, um, a comedian's nature, right? Like, I remember when Judd Apatow called me and goes, and he's never invited me to anything after that. But he, one day he goes, Hey, Jerry Seinfeld is doing a, you know what I mean? Yeah. His wife is doing some sort of lunch. Can you come with me? I went there and I saw Seb there with Seinfeld and all these guys. And in my head, I'm like, oh, he's a part of a clique. He's a, you know, a part of this, like the, the top comedy, you know what I mean? Machines, mm -hmm. right? And I'm a, an outside observer. But when you say things like that, I just think that we all feel the same way yeah, about ourselves. You know yeah, I mean? no, I agree. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I, I think that, um, you know, we all have our own path. And I, you know, I'm a good guy. I do try my best. Um, I love the community. I love comedy and I love you guys. And I, you know, I'm just, just living my life. I'm afraid to die. I'm afraid to die. Are you, are, are you a hyper? I'm hypo afraid for you dying. <laughs>
What, you think it's going to be painful? No, no, I'm just saying, like... The way you said that was so fucking rude, dude. <laughs> what do you mean? You're so fucking rude what you just We're said. We're all afraid. I'm, afraid. I'm afraid to die, too. No, but you said to me. But I said it as a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said it as I'm a joke. I'm afraid you're going to die. What do you think? Yeah. I'm excited? What did you just say, right? You're going to die. You're going to die. I'm afraid I of it. I said yeah, it as a joke. What the fuck is going on? I'm afraid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, but what, yeah, yeah. my question is, when you when you are dying, how are you going to handle it? Are you going to be like... I don't know. I've never done it before. I've been coming friendly with you. It's the first time. Time. I'm starting to become friendly with you. Yeah, if you're yeah. in a position where you're dying and I become friendly enough for you where like I can come see you at the hospital, if, are you gonna bring me down? <laughs> Oh, you're gonna tell me how to yeah. get and run and yeah, don't yeah. No, let's all let's laugh while I'm still here. You know, like I think I, would know, I know good... what he's gonna do. I'm just sending flowers. <laughs> I, I right, need to go right. in the lobby, be on the lobby. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what that's gonna be <laughs> he's like. Gonna, he's gonna be yelling at the nurses. This is fucking bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Why? Because I know 97. You, you just turned 50. I know that. Yes. I'm 51. We're the same age. Okay. You know what I mean? Almost. And it's like, do you ever think about it or no? Oh no! I constantly think of passing away, especially when you have. <laughs> what are you living in? Well, you, you got kids. Yeah, yeah. You're down, you're you like you man. go. Oh, okay. You know, I want to be around. We talked about this on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Dying early with kids, and then you got another guy Whoa. married to your wife. <laughs> oh, right? My God. Whoa. He wants to start a little treasure chest yeah. of videos and whatnot. Right. That that his daughter could access. Mm. It's like it, it it's like for example, she turned yeah. sixteen. Yeah, and he passed away. God forbid, let uh, tonight. Yeah, right? right. There's a video in the treasure chest that says, "Listen, I know you're getting your driver's license today. Yeah, what I want you to do is don't drink and drive." It's almost like a a video. You got video access to your father, even though he's not there, giving you life lessons, right? You can do a, now. You can do holograms, right? Because Howie Mandel, I was at his place, and he has now he's a he's invested in this hologram company, where it's a gigantic like thing. It's three D. Mm -hmm. You'll appear. Yeah, and then you could talk to your son, daughter that way. Well, now listen, I'm blown away that you were in uh, Howie Mandel. Now, do you have to shower before you're allowed? I've never touched him. No, I know he's a very germ guy. Yeah, what, yeah. What's the protocol just to get in the hole? <laughs> well, he, he's at his warehouse they, when I when he see. Did they I've never been to him. You before I've never seen his home. I remember. Oh, you said you were in his house. Well, well you know his 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 um office. Area. Oh, oh, yeah, got yeah, it, yeah. Got okay, it. never right. home, home. Yeah, I don't remember the first time I met. I, he, it was during Mad TV, and he goes, "I did this sketch out of my house." And he goes, the only way I could go to Bobby Lee's house is if he plastic wraps the whole house. So I remember for fucking 16 hours, people coming in and wrapping everything. So when he showed up on my plays, huh. everything was in plastic. Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 That's wait. hilarious. Now, if, somebody, if somebody was gonna come on our show yeah. and said, I need the whole place wrapped in plastic, I said, we're good. We're good? <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's the next guy? <laughs> oh, all right. Right? Yeah, 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 all right, yeah, yeah. Right. So you wrapped the house. Yeah, yeah. well, I didn't, the, the produ production did. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they said this could be a funny bit, Babe. So, uh, you know, we turned it into a bit. Okay, yeah, but yeah. he did want that. So it's for monetary value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know I mean? okay. but, um, but anyway, you could do a hologram of yourself. You should do that. Well, no, but like, if you, I mean, that's kind of creepy, right? To do what? a hologram of yourself. But the thing is, if you did have a box, if I passed away yeah. and I had like trinkets and stuff that my daughter can go through to remember me, mm. and now my wife is remarried and my daughter's going through her trinkets, could my step, could her stepfather go, stop going through the trinkets, it's time for dinner. Like, I feel like you can't tell her to stop going through the, the daddy trunk. You got to wait till she's done going through the daddy <laughs> trunk, right? Like, even if you go downstairs and my, and my, my ex-wife is going, you know, why is it, well, well, it's I'm your dead, wife because I'm dead, but yeah, I'm dead. Yeah. But she's going, why is it Sadie come for dinner? The, the stepfather has to go because she's, he, she's going through the peat trunk. <laughs> what, what do you, why do you spend your time, all these hypotheticals? <laughs> Look at what you fucking <laughs> real. What? You worry yourself about trinkets and an ex guy. This is that's where in the <laughs> How do you live like that? Yeah. Just live. Like, it's insane. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you just lay you in bed why? and think I'll, about these things. It's insane. I'll tell you why. Yeah, I'll yeah. tell you why. Because tell someday me. I'll be dead, and it turns out you can hover over your life when you're dead, and my daughter will be going through the trunk. 
<laughs> am I, am is I, there a trunk and, now? Do you have a trunk now? No, but I'm working on it. I'll go. Yeah, 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 I'll, I'll go. go. Stepdad's going to go, can I interrupt him? My wife's going to go, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> but if I would have said, don't ever let anyone do that. No yeah. He was alive. He said, don't ever <laughs> let anyone. Bro, it's all about square and uh, shit. Like, all right, so Pete, if you were dead and yeah. you were in heaven, mm -hmm. would you look in? If I could, wouldn't you? you? Would? Yeah. No. If you could, if you would, I don't want some guy just plowing my life. You know what I mean? I'm like, hey, he does it better. You know what I mean? <laughs> Bob, you're gonna tell me if you die. I, you look to me as the kind of guy. If you died, you wouldn't check to see the size of the crowd at your own funeral. No, you know what I would do? What? Comics that didn't show up. I would be waiting for them in heaven. <laughs> and I'd go like, hey, Seb, you had to do a commercial, huh? Yeah. Right? right? Yeah. Well, you did a, a guest spot right. on some right. show, right? right. You couldn't end, right. end up coming to my, right. yeah. So there is a list, but. So people die to get up to heaven and you're going to the wake, but no funeral? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I mean, um, you know, I'll be honest with you. I've never seen myself on a movie. Yeah, bro. Oh, jeez. God, I killed for that. Right. Take it's... better care of it. <laughs> what are you Look at all he's taking it you for like granted. It? You like, yeah. like it, guy? I would kill you. Like yeah, if, guy? if you know, that's. <laughs> What's up, guy? You good? Um, what do you put? Like what do you put in it when you no, like? If you nothing. were auditioning for a, a Jackie Chan film, no. and you wait, 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 wait. So let that like, sink in. What? 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 If I was auditioning for what? A Jackie Chan film. <laughs> okay, good. Is that a problem? <laughs> that was a well, you guys play two guys that are gangsters yeah, and yeah, with yeah. the black suits and the slick back hair. What are you slapping in that? Um, Tancho. What's that? You've never heard of Tancho? Tancho? Tancho. No, what's no. that, man? Oh, so uh, Tancho is a Chinese. Is that used a wax? Is that like a wax? If you go to any film and television um, makeup uh, or hair, um, division yeah, huh? they have tancho and what it is is and this is a real okay. thing right. it's it used to be deodorant the chinese people use but some fool went oh it's good on the hair too you know what i mean so in america we use it as a hair thing is that with a t i'm seriously interested in it it's called tancho with a t is yeah it, with a it, t yeah yeah is it chinese it's Chinese, but you can get it in any hair supply store in okay. LA because I have uh, lots okay. of it. Okay. Wow. Okay. It's the best. Now, okay. great hair. Listen. He's putting the hat back yeah, yeah, on because I'm too attracted to it. Yeah. And we'll close on this. We're not, we're done? We're, how long have we done? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sit down. We know we got shit to do. How long, do, how long do, have we done? Over an hour. Oh, yeah. this is good. This is, yeah. How great was it? Yeah. I could do another hour. Yeah. Okay, yeah. this is great. Okay. For a guy like you, are you, how many times are you shampooing your hair uh, a week? Twice. Twice. Wow. A week. Wow. Okay. And I, I'll, I'll give you an example. Okay. My jeans is yeah. Japanese raw denim. I've never washed these, and I had these for four years. So I don't wash things. If I smell them when I throw up. No, but the reason why you don't watch, the reason why you don't watch um, Japanese raw denim is because see these lines and stuff. This is what you want, like a really good fade. Like so this I, is too clean for me. But anyway, let's move yeah, on. So these were so last, I don't wash these, things. These were washed last uh, Wednesday. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Now, how do you keep them clean then? So you don't. Well, no, you put. Well, certain, there's two certain. things you can do. You can put them in the freezer to take the smell away. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Or, one second. Oh, hold on. No, no, no. One second. Or you can. You put them in the. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. If I went in your freeze, right? Yeah. And there's ice, and, and you go, hey, you want, you want, a, you want a cocktail? <laughs> <laughs> and I say, yeah, no, I have a scotch on the rocks, and you yeah. and you go to get the rocks, and your jeans are next to the ice. I, I have your, two I, right now. I, I have, leave your house. I have two denims in my in freezer right now. Yeah. Is there any ice? There's a tray under my jeans. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's so funny. You I don't. I don't, so, even, I don't yes, even you do. I, really, I don't know what's funny about it. Jeans in a right, right, right. No. Oh my it's, god. Listen, if you look at the comments or Dean Del Rey, Kevin Christie, these guys, we all do it. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. I and have you a, don't. I wouldn't have a drink at any of your houses. <laughs> so, do you, yeah. so do your jeans just not smell until they thaw? <laughs> and then once they thaw, do you got to go home like Cinderella? Like, oh, God, no. they're thawing you can, you, you, there's two, you, you can also. Oh, God, that's right. <laughs> or or the, the people, some Japanese people, they'll walk into the ocean with it, no. the salt water. Yeah, yeah. And that's how they wash it. But I just, I'm not going to go to the Santa Monica to do that. Okay. Yeah, okay. What does the freezer do to your jeans? 
it takes the smell away. It's still dirty though. And what's the second thing? You said there's something else. The people walk in, you walk oh, in the ocean with And them. like, if you happen to be down at Santa Monica. I would do it. And you're like, oh, before I leave, I should just walk in the ocean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, waist deep. I probably so, do it. That's so California, bro. That's so oh, cool, that's bro. Whatever, that's dude. so fucking... It's how we rock. It's how no, we roll, I dude. I... And, and, and wherever you're from, Jersey or whatever, right? You, uh, you know, Long Island. Long Island, Island or whatever. Right? You wash the shit out of your jeans. Yeah, I know. It's fucking weird. We do. We yeah, do. Yeah. Look yeah. at yeah. them. They look like brand new. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Right. Like, even shoes. Like, these shoes, right? I know. These shoes. Golden Goose, right? I just have a specific style, dog. I know, you know, I, I'm not, these I'm are seven hundred dollars, but pal. I'm not, not, do you ever? Do, seven do you ever? Oh, okay. dollars. Yeah, pal. Google oh. it. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not low class. That is, I think that's what you're accusing me of. God, you're I'm so high class. Not man. getting my vibe at all. Made worn T-shirt. I'm man. loving the man. entire style. <laughs> this is like a twelve dollar outfit you got. I, to you, <laughs> I yeah. totally get it. From Abercrombie, wherever you totally get it, get it. Or no, TJ Maxx no. or whatever. You know but what nobody mean? minds standing next to me on a bus. <laughs> All right, all right. No, and we, we, you know, uh, no, we could talk about it for, but you know, you I think being rude. How am I making? <laughs> yeah, you want to move to complex? I'm not being complex. You're attacking me. I'm not. I'm saying. All, all, right, all right, all right, I really love you. Are, are we done or? Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the thing? Is there ending? Or how do we do it? Uh, all right, listen. I love you guys. Listen, listen, I would love to do this again. This is fun. Oh, I'm glad. In a year, maybe we'll do it again. Oh, no. Yeah, why is it gonna be that long, bro? Yeah, whatever, no, no. whenever you need me. Listen, we'll come back to the cheese store. Yeah, we'll do this again. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I gotta thank you. I know. Big it, time. Thank you. It was yeah. A pleasure. I, I love it. It was man, so much fun. Fucking awesome. awesome. I know it's a big ask. You gotta come in your car. Come down here. Found parking. This, that, and the other thing. Totally. And you're a busy guy. And we appreciate you being. Can here. I close with no. something? No. I want to just say something about my heart. May I say something in my heart? Yeah, go ahead. Honestly, dude, I'm so fucking proud of you. You too. You're going, to, but um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. But uh, <laughs> but you specifically, right? I'm so proud of you. You're killing the game, and it's like we've been friends for a very long time. I've always loved you, I know. and uh, I would go anywhere to do something. Well, I, I did that it. even that stupid food thing you made. Had I, to know. Do. I know. I know. Awesome. Yeah. He, he's, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> He's done well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've been friends for years. years yeah. And uh, you are uh, one of the funniest guys I know. I appreciate you being Thank on you. the show. You can catch Bobby Lee on Tiger Belly, his own podcast. He also does a podcast with Santino. Is Bad Friends. Bad and friends. the new movie with Kate Blanchett. In January, I suppose it comes out. Yeah. In January. Boom. And we're looking forward to seeing that. And you can catch Bobby Lee not only on tour doing stand up, but he also does his podcast live, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, with, with Andrew. San, with, with Andrew yeah, Santino. Yeah, yeah. And you can visit him <clears throat> on social media. Check it all out. Thanks again for Thank having uh, having Thanks, us Bobby. as uh, as your as your uh, your um, what was it? Uh, Chopra's. What was it? The Chopra. 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 Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>